Ja. Uh, give me a second. A hacked client to a hacker client. <clears throat> I will try out. I feel the urge to send this guy some virus. Anyways, hi. The stupid chicken is back. You get it because because I'm like I'm silly hoon. Um, it's a it's a German joke. How do I display my name like this? I'm Silly Huhn and Huhn is uh, chicken in, in German and Silly is like a a misspelling of uh, Silly with an S, right? But actually um, this name is not referring to a Silly Chicken in German but it's actually a misspelling of my uh, T World's in game name, which is Chiller Dragon, which I um, I picked that one about, I don't know, nine years ago when I used to be called. Now I'm deep diving my, my cringe username history when I used to be called Auftrags Chiller, which is um, like a contract contract chiller. Which is a, a joke because I'm like not a, not a contract killer, but I'm a contract chiller, and it's German because I'm I'm a very very German person. Um, and then there was this uh, clan in the best game that is uh, there that's called T Words. You can buy it at tworlds.com. Oh wait, it's free and open source. Um, anyways, so let's not dive there. Anyways, I was called Auftrax Chiller and I wanted to join a clan and the clan was like about dragons. So I changed my name to Chiller Dragon. Um, anyways, then time went by and I went to plenty of iterations of my name, like uh, Chiller Dragoon, Chili Dragoon, Chili Dragoon, whatever. And anyways, then this kind of ended up at Silly Hoon, and then you end up at Silly Hoon, if that makes any sense. So my username literally means Chiller Dragon, which is based on a stupid joke about a contract chiller who wanted to join a dragon clan. So it's not a stupid chicken. But it's a relaxed dragon. But only if he gets a contract to relax. Anyways, so you definitely did not want to hear that one. By the way, I figured something out. As you can see, what is going on here. And the thing that happened is I activated my X-ray. So you might be confused why does your X-ray look so weird. Because I finally figured out how to configure the X-ray in the Lambda client, there is uh, their commands with the their prefix with the semicolon, and then here I can say help first of all to see help stuff, but I can also go X-ray and say add and then say a block so like for example Minecraft uh, oak door. How's it called? How's a akiakia? What is that even? Anyways, I can list materials here that I want to be rendered. And I added chests, I added bats, and um, I think cobblestone is there already. I added wood. So now I can easily find bases um, and mine shafts apparently. Maybe I want to exclude the wood. Um, but yeah. 
So that's that. Okay. So where did we left off? Where did we left off? I think gathering some food and getting the fuck out of here was my plan. Um, or should I procrastinate one full session and chill around in the space and then rage quit? Nah, I think going back to the highway is the smartest thing to do. Even if I forget stuff here, I should leave in a hurry. Um, I'm wondering if I should tame another horse. Where are my shears? If I should tame another horse, uh, like this one instead, and then when I die, I respawn to a, a horse in, in my cage, or how do you call it? It's probably a better word for that. So I have this boy over here who's already tamed, secured, and saddled, and has a diamond armor. Maybe I want to leave them, them boy here. So when I die, I will be very happy. But then I'm not really planning to die. So you shouldn't focus on your plan B, otherwise you fail your plan A. I think some YouTube motivational video said that once and it sounded kind of cool. And maybe it's actually somewhat true in some cases. So um, if, I, if I focus that much and if I'm looking so much forward to my plan B, which is like literally dying, um, I might fail my plan, plan A, which is not dying. <laughs> so um, that's that. And also then if I have a super nice base here, I really want to not build a new base because then if I die, I spawn at a new base. So then I'm procrastinating, building another checkpoint, that would be also bad, and yeah, I don't know. So let's take the good horse and leave only crap here, and the only good stuff that I leave here is the stuff that I forget to take with me, which will be probably like a stack of diamonds or something like that. Um, yeah, sounds good to me. Come on, boys. Give me some food. Mm. That's awesome. Oh, by the way, um, regarding the chat commands, I also figured out that you have like baritone and you can say um, farm and you can probably also specify like what he wants to farm and shit. So I was wondering if the, if the Lambda client is uh, able to do, um, you know, baritone stuff, um, auto mining. Um, because then also my x-ray doesn't really matter too much because baritone should be smart enough to not mine into lava uh, this boy is probably smarter no. than me at mining I'm not sure I think um, baritone is pretty pretty solid no. but yeah that didn't work anyways um, so that's that Yeah, so I, I kind of thought that everything is in the click uh, UI in the graphical user interface, but it seems like this client is more technical than I thought and having some features only accessible with chat commands, which uh, I totally like. Um, I'm, I'm more like a typing person myself than a user interface where you have to click around and you have so much stuff um, that tends to confuse me. Um, but in this one you can search, so it's actually, it's quite nice actually, it's quite nice. Um, yeah. Okay, so what's the plan? Let's kill all sheep to get the last bit of food. Maybe not all sheep, I'm not quite sure, because we will travel the overworld anyways. Um, then I can kill sheep there. Um, yeah, that should do. Okay. 
Yeah, awesome. Uh, there's a stack of wood. Is there anything that I need from this place before I leave it? Is there anything so unfinished that it makes no sense to return to this um, space? I don't think so. I have enough books, bookshelves. Should I carry the leather with me? That's nice. Huh. Cooked mutton. Isn't that... Yeah, okay. Someone wasn't stacking. Mm. Ooh. Yeah, totally worth it that I made all those anvils. Maybe I should finish my sword. This one is always cool, isn't it? Full as it gets. Well, this one has space, this one has space. The rest is full. Mending, 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 mending. Oh, that's awesome. I love this chest. Okay. Um, so if I die and respawn here, I have my horse armor with me anyways. So, yeah. Do I have some pork over here so that I can refill this? Let's trade it with steak to maximize the usage of this e chest. Okay. Let's make a new flint and steel. Uh, let's take some diamonds with me. I'm not sure if this this lot is even worth it. It probably isn't. Okay. Let's rather take food or maybe even uh, gunpowder. Maybe gunpowder is. Yeah, that one could be more valuable. Hear me out. <laughs> then, does it look better? Uh, yeah, that one could be more valuable than diamonds. 25 gunpowder. Well, I kind of have to rethink my whole you know, value uh, assessments because now that I have an X-ray and Fortune 3, the whole value of, of diamond totally changed. Um, it used to be like the most valuable item that I knew. Um, now probably, I don't know, a mending book is probably cooler than a stack of, of diamonds. I don't know. Um, so, and like mob farms, um, like mob drops are pretty valuable on 2B because Mobs are so rare because the server is so overloaded, so it tries to minimize mob spawning, I think. I'm, I'm not quite sure, but I think that mobs are much rarer here than on like a vanilla Minecraft server. So that's that. And even with looting 3, it's uh, it takes ages to pile up mob, mob loot. And gunpowder is nice for... Uh, bro... Brew? Ah, brewing. Um, and TNT and stuff like that and TNT is awesome for everything in life so that's cool and like ender pearls very very awesome those ones are not too valuable because spider spawners are quite frequent um, skeleton spawner we also found one already I mean, bones are nice if you quickly want to draft out like a, a farm. Should I? Yeah, okay, so let's put that in our inventory. I mean, there's still inventory for for traveling. Efficiency for. Hmm. Can make another golden apple, for sure. 
Oh boy. I mean, leaving for vacation is bad enough. But leaving your home for potentially ever, that kind of sucks. You know, like packing wise, it's so mentally exhausting. You always have the feeling, oh, did I forget something? Uh, those discs, what the fuck? Those ones are nice. Let's take a few ones. Or should I, should I make books instead? Because then I can compact it and don't waste any um, space. So yeah, that sounds smart. Okay. Give me some papes and then some blues. How does it work like this? Oh, the other way around. No, like this. Okay. Alright. Then we have. Can we use the ugly wood? We can't, right? <coughs> we can. Awesome. So that's another item that I found to an ugly wood. Uh, revert the ugliness, so give me more ugly wood. I don't have any more ugly wood. Okay. Didn't I farm some like of the dark stuff that is so fast to farm? There has to be some. I swear I was like this one, the dark oak. Or did I? turn it all into sticks. I think I, t I might have turned it all into sticks. Huh. Whatever. Uh. Why is crafting so um, annoying on a laggy server? Minecraft is so well predicted that it's surprising how how this has to do anything with the with the network protocol like being yeah with the network protocol right can't the client just send what it crafted and i can do the crafting locally or like do i send a packet every time i drag an item in here probably i do right so the server could basically manipulate everything in here yeah it can yeah yeah, I think that that's what allows on this mini servers for like the menus in the in the inventory and stuff. But come on, crafting that could be predicted better, couldn't it? Anyways, I should stop talking about stuff that I don't understand. Okay. Whoops. Okay. Bam! So we didn't even waste any additional slot in our inventory. We're putting in those, that's nice. So. Sugar canes! I, I will find them while traveling. I don't. Yeah, I don't need to. Um, do I want empty slots in my inventory to collect stuff? On the road. No. What do I want? What do I want? Should I take a bit of iron with me? That's probably nice. That's so much effort to farm. There's no um, fortune for iron. So that's something that is probably even worth more than diamonds. I don't know. Um, I do like cobblestone. I do like cobblestone. If I take much longer to pick the items that I can take with me, um, I could use that time to 
re refarm those items in the in the next phase. So I should just grab whatever I see next, all of it, and then just leave. Um, do I need coal? No. It's all empty anyways. What did I have in my inventory previously? Oh, food! Boy, I need food. I do need food. Yes, that is something that I want to take with me. So give me that. Give me that. I should leave something here for... No, I shouldn't. Give me all, give me all the food. All the food. And then... Whatever. Let's take some leather. I always collect leather to build those boys, but I have bookshelves. I need them. Yeah. Then wood is also nice. I mean, you can refarm it, but still, it's nice. And then. Oh, that one is actually important. Um. Imagine I forgot the obsidian, then I couldn't build a portal. I do need wool to make a bed, but I can also find sheep, so... Mm. Sack a bit. Oh yeah, those ones. Don't want to leave those here. I'm, I'm really tempted to just grab all the cobblestone and take it with me and I will probably throw it away. But now that I went so many mining trips to farm cobblestone to finish the house, I feel like it's a waste. Um, maybe let's take some lapis with me. Um, would that fit? No, it doesn't. This is annoying. There's pop. There's probably a way to hack the client to make crafting not laggy on a server with bad TPS. I'm sure there's a way to hack that. I mean, it's not that bad, but coming from a non 2 b 2 t server, it is very noticeable. So, yeah, maybe worth worth the effort worth the attempt. I'm pretty sure it should be possible. Like if you think about it, uh, like what stuff you can fake with Minecraft. Like how much control the client has. Uh, you can just not send to it to the server and ignore the answer and everything. Then maybe some uh, minigame server break, but on 2B you could craft without noticing the lag. That would be cool, wouldn't it be? Anyways, so what else okay let's leave the rest of the inventory empty like a full-on savage and uh, get the fuck out of here so i think the highway is this way it is right uh, then let's go this way, shall we? Wow. 
Ouch. Okay, we are leaving. This is exciting. Only took me 25 minutes to, to leave. I'm so gonna kill my horse. Okay. Um, hello. I'm so gonna kill my horse. This is a good opportunity to fill up the rest of the inventory with food. What happened to the world over here? This looks bad. <sighs> Is this unloaded? Isn't that the direction I was coming from? Maybe not. I feel like the ocean is really close. So as soon as I will see the ocean, there's no way to travel that with the horse. Let's go in a portal. Is it obvious that I'm using an escape portal if I'm on the border of an ocean? You know what I mean? Well, it's obvious anyways. Wait, the question is... Do I really want to travel the, the nether then with a horse? Oh my goodness. Or should I try getting my horse over the sea? Hmm. Hmm. How did I do it last time? Was I closer? Fuck. I mean, that could be the end already. Definitely. How do I leave the horse? Isn't it sneaking? What? Wasn't I swear it was sneaking? Wait. Oh yeah, maybe longer. Okay. So, can I break blocks when I'm on the horse? I can. Maybe I can. How? Oh, maybe I can tunnel. Okay, let's try. not to lose the horse again in the portal which I managed to do twice twice I don't know many times this looks like a big portal room okay let's get it in we're also kind of high 68 that's awesome Leave. This one is in 
directly and then it backs into a lot What should I watch out for? Are there... Look at this! Now the x-ray is really helping with... Uh, with stuff. Because I can see lava now. I probably also want to see fire because... Boy. Fire. Yeah, so I was... I was thinking earlier when I added water and lava if there are any other dangerous things and of course there's fire. I thought more about about cow webs or something else but yeah fire. Definitely always want to see fire. Um, so now the x-ray can be used to, to gain some overview similar to free cam but now without losing um, yeah, uh, orientation. Speaking of orientation, this looks like a way up. This looks like a way up. This looks like a way up. Yeah, let's go up here. So, I'm wondering what do I have to look out for? What could kill me? It's probably falling down somewhere. If I fall down somewhere, I don't have an elytra, I don't have any fly hack. Uh, fly hack. Fly. I think this client is also somewhat tailored for 2B, so that's nice. Uh, bro, can't you? Okay, that looks safe. Ooh, why this is so slow? This is this is wrong. Efficiency four diamond pickaxe or netherite. Is this because I'm on a horse? It is because I'm on a horse, right? Because it should yeah, it should do this one. So tunneling on the horse is probably not an option. Let's see. Maybe I have to build a highway till the highway or something like that. How stupid is it to go in here with a horse? It will suffocate. It will suffocate. Positive thinking. Everything will be okay. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, no way, too fat. Yeah, no way. Okay, no problem. No problem. Two should do. And then I will just dig a small um, highway myself until the highway. That would be very obvious I would say how do other people do this how do people transport their horses um, not sure I should probably watch more FitMC content or other 2B youtubers whatever to know such things let's act like there's no exit here how would they know how would they know okay which direction we wanna go um so only my so this is the x axis yeah and on the x axis i keep looking at the overworld um so let's look at the nether ones um we are pretty close so we have to actually go this way right so this one is decreasing 900, 630, we should. So 
the x-ray is helping us with not mining into lava but not with falling down somewhere which is actually more dangerous so sneaking should help with that not sure how to safely mine in the nether can I baritone that? yeah that's probably the safest way to do it so now I can monitor the situation what's happening here? is that lava? why is it going down? Is the lava dripping out now? What was that? Okay. Whoops, I pressed the button. Okay, so I should definitely fix the lava situation. running out of pickaxes that would suck otherwise there's barely any lava close right so I can just make it too wide easily a good way to travel would probably with a horse would on the top um, but yeah Now my horse despawned because the this is making me dizzy. Someone, if if I actually have any person like watching this ever. Someone is probably laughing at me for how stupid this way is of like transporting my horse um, to the highway because I could have just boated with the horse in the overworld and then made a portal directly or whatever or I could just tele teleport my horse in the teleport exploit or whatever or something super basic that I don't know that even Mojang developers intended <sighs> who knows can I do like scaffold what I swear I saw an issue about scaffolding on I swear Wait, I have to search this issue right now. I'm sorry, guys. I saw it. I swear. I'm not client. Someone was complaining about scaffold sucking on 2B and like making it better with. I think it was a pull request. Here. Rewrite scaffold module pull request. March the second. Additional context. Ooh. Um, okay, so there is a module called scaffold. Scaff. Scaffold. Oh my gosh, I have to look in the source code now. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna die doing this. Scaffold.kt. Oh wait, but there's no scaffold module. It's on. There is a module, but like X-ray has usually a a mixin. There's usually no. I don't see a scaffold mixing. How does one? Scaffold. Come on. 
Oh wait, how did you not make the menu dark? Dark. There was something I figured out on how to... I forgot it. Um, here, scaffold. We have tower, spoof, hotbar, safe walk, sneak, delay, whatever. It's there. I see it in the code. I can see it. And it's inheriting from module as far as I'm guessing that this means because I don't speak Java. Um, so there's a module called scaffold. It's there and it's written S C A F F O L T. S C A. Oh, it's there. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Oh wow, that's probably what this pull request was referring to. This is horrible. This is horrible. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm really curious. I, 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 I'm really interested in the pull request now. So it says, this pull, re pull replaces the old Kami Blue scaffold with an actually usable one. This would allow people to use scaffold without crying. Uvu. A crash has been found. Let me fix. Fix a crash. This is now ready to put in the mind claim. Blah, blah, blah. Bad solutions are any key scaffold could need. First of all, thanks for your contribution. I really appreciate it. And uh, unfortunately, I get a lot of these things even under un even on unprotected servers. Does I it does not work on 2B, which is kind of important for the mod. Uh, this is a nice prototype, though, and I like the way you feel. I <clears throat> and I like the way it allows you freely to move. Keep it up. I shall look into this. Perhaps looking rotation while scaffold is on. Perhaps locking rotation while scaffold is on and we are moving at all rather than moving rotation only when placing. Oh, and uh, do note that using any kind of extent on 2v2t can lead to blocks falling to place since you would be looking at an obscured surface. What? Uh, are all of these these things fixed? I really want this to be in the main client. The scaffold work great in single player but it's still terrible with ncp even on the default config watch ncp is no cheap plus isn't it um do i get kicked or what what is happening i really want to try this out like literally right now should i i mean i can i'm connected via a proxy i i can Why can't I press enter now? I swear I can do that in worst. Uh, it's so annoying that you have to like click. If there's only one match, let me like, that's so awesome about worst. You can like, yeah, yeah worst is awesome. I, I need that UI. Anyways, I will, I will try it now. Mm. Git fetch origin. And then let's do a git pull origin pull number 265 and uh, 56 hat and then what was the command to build I think it's gradle build then I have to go into my instance folder which I have no idea how to open this, open terminal here, pwd, pipe it into Excel to get the path, and go here, do a cd there, uh, resource packs, no, I want to go into mods, yep, um, okay. I kind of said that I'm trying to optimize and record every second that I'm connected on 2B, but I will restart my client now and you won't see anything because I don't see anything at all because I don't have any graphics rendering client connected, only my uh, to board to wait proxy, um, which should be fine because we will be only here, you will be missing out some chat and me getting AFK killed by a gas that has like X-ray activated 
build successful, awesome, then update, and yeah. Not sure what it will do to the recording. It probably gets uh, black for you. Yeah, it looks black to me. Then I restart PolyMC and do an update here again. Start it again. Does it come back for you? This is such such an effort, um, but I'm really curious. It's not that I need it. Like I already built my bridge um, across that cave, uh, but I'm just I'm just curious, and I really want to have some desync and crash bugs. So why can't you see something? Ba -ba -bum. Now you can. I love it. Now you can't anymore. I hate it. What happened? Okay. Cool. So now we got the pull request patched in. Let's scaffold the shit out of it. Ugh. Something happened to the sound. What? Okay, there's no sound. That's interesting. But I, I'm not falling down anymore. So it's now safe to use probably over like a sea of lava or something like that. It's actually very good. Let me. Oh, I wanted to say try the old one, but I'm definitely not gonna go back now. Should I? I don't know. Yeah, let's keep running this sketchy pull request version of the client now. <laughs> yeah, but the missing sound is uh, definitely worth it. But weird. I will write a, uh, a comment, like literally. What? Stop walking. Stop walking. I will write a comment, like literally, right now. To this on current master the scaffold um, is barely how do you spell barely 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 uh, working um, server restarting in 10 minutes oh fuck off uh, one can easily fall through one can easily fall period this PR makes it fair, fairly secure even on 2b, 2t, I would um, uh, but it is still a bit sluggish and tends to get stuck or something like that uh, also the sound is gone also there is no block placing sound anymore um, when it also there's no block placing sound anymore p 
period when it's activated or in the pull request yeah uh, the same is barely working one can easily follow this PR makes it fairly secure even on 2b2t but it's still a bit sluggish and tends to get stuck also there's no block placing sound anymore okay oh server restart hmm 10 minutes yikers can we manage to reconnect There's the highway. Finally. Whoops, whoop, whoop, whoop. Don't use this boy. Don't use this boy. This boy is for use. Why is it going to the left now? Is it the fastest straight way? Make it back in 10 minutes on the highway. Can I? Oof. Oh. Yeah, it's totally obvious that I I try to transport a horse away or from the highway or onto the highway. Mm. Whatever. It it kind of feels nice to return to the highway. I'm I'm not gonna lie. It feels like home. Um, in ten minutes we will have like a perfect. Recording end, so I guess I will end the recording when the server shuts down. Um, I saw something updating. Oh yeah, someone re reacted with a party thing to my who? Like a random. Oh yeah, this boy. Um, this. He just he just commented this. <laughs> I love how GitHub has like live uh, reload. No, I have the the thing thing again. Why I can't? Um, yeah, one point twelve is so bugged. Fuck the shit. I'm gonna. I'm gonna close my client. What do I care? What do I care? It's awesome. I'm, I'm really taking advantage of using the 2B, uh, 2W proxy. Um, to, it's like the second time in one episode that I restarted my client. Why is my Minecraft changing uh, names? Is it black again for you? It is. I'm so gonna leak another application. I wonder what stuff do I have open? I really don't have anything leak worthy open. So that's fair, I guess. Okay, so you can see something and I can spin the full circle I can't. Motherfucker! Is it always broken? I just never notice. I'm not quite sure how I should time the restart with the proxy being on. I should probably deactivate the proxy because I feel like I can time it better than the proxy. I'm not sure what the proxy does on the restart. 
And then when the server shuts down, I have to shut down the proxy. Then I have to, yeah, let's see. So can I full screen without it turning black? No, I can't. If I go small again, it doesn't help. Because now it renamed. The window renames when you full screen it. I feel like the this is a lambda client issue. Because OBS is looking at the at the window name. Finally, I can spin the full circle. <laughs> I was holding my breath. Uh, I feel like the Lambda client only updates the title. So my Minecraft, the window is called Minecraft 1.12. Uh, I think my, my launcher might name it like that. Holy MC or whatever, in the, the, the jar file itself. I'm not quite sure who. Probably the jar file itself, right? And then the Lambda client probably has some hook on like window resizing or whatever, which then uh, renames the window to, to Lambda client. And when this happens, um, OBS loses track of which window to to record. So I think the possible fix for that might be to full screen first, then minimize again, then start the recording. So it will be called Lambda and it will stay like that. And then you can go full screen again. Yeah, I should probably get into the habit of doing that. And I usually do that if I'm like in the queue already, I tap in, I tap out, so that's why it's always called Lambda Client. But if I'm directly booting into the client while the recording is running, I, uh, I might easier run into the issue of it being renamed and then losing it. Okay, I think I got it. I got it. And I explained it like three times in a row, so you guys probably also got it, even if you don't know what OBS is. Anyways, let's go. Back to the highway. I think we made it. We made it in time before the server restart. Um, yeah, and this guy even—he didn't even update his his comment. He just wrote this. He just wrote this. He commented this. <laughs> I love it. Um, I love it. So, in case you're wondering what I'm talking about, like the client that I'm using, the Lambda client, is uh, open source on GitHub. So you can go to github.com slash lambda minus client slash lambda and there's a pull request currently open number 256 which introduced a new refactor or like a new version of the scaffold and I just tried that out and I commented on the pull request my feedback on how it worked for me. Awesome this. So like here you have a choice which which way to go. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, we're back. <laughs> we're we are actually back, back on the highway, and I'm, I'm probably more excited than I should be, to uh, to return on this boring highway where I can like literally do nothing but stare on my screen, try not to to die of something super stupid because this highway is so safe. I don't even have to install any auto walker anymore. Anything. I just press my key binding, which by the way is uh, the letter M which activates auto walk, which utilizes baritone to safely navigate me. Okay, so now is the exciting moment though. I should stop this and then I should I should do this and this and I should uh, SSH into screen minus R to be to okay. Should be on the horse, off the horse. Okay. It's starting. Positioning queue. Okay, okay. So now we do a stop. We stop queuing. Then we go back to server list. My queue is down. Wait. Are you telling me that it restarted that fast? Did restarts get faster? Like way faster? Didn't it used to take like like five minutes for a server restart to take? Is that new? Holy shit! This is so awesome as like a user experience. Um, if you want to play, is this the real deal? 
Wow. So the Q might be faster than me then. Yeah, so in, in, if it's like that, the Q might be, be faster than me. Okay, I guess that's it for today's session. It was a, like a one episode session, but we got in the whole hour. So so that's awesome. Wow, this I'm I'm amazed. Like I'm really amazed. I, I wonder what's what Housemaster did. Because like microservers are slow to to boot. It's like a huge blow to Java application and slowing the world and shit. Um and two B2T especially took quite some time. Uh I'm not sure if it if Housemaster did some like housekeeping, haha. <laughs> Uh, in addition to uh, the restart, like going over the files, doing something, I don't know. Um, and he stopped doing that now, I have no idea. Or if he like optimized something or if the paper developer, so like who is responsible for this speed increase of the restart this is so impressive given how long it took. Like it used to take around five minutes and those five minutes now got like stripped down to instantly. I didn't notice any downtime. Um, the queue almost directly after a quick dirt screen pushed us back into the queue. This is so impressive. Anyways, uh, so I should stop uh, talking in this uh, queue. I will probably leave anyways. The numbers are going down right now really fast. Um, but I don't think that I will be able to join before I went to sleep today. Um, and also I'm not connected via the the proxy, so I would have to keep my client open and I'm I got like increased standards now that I'm used to. So yeah, that's it for today's session. Um yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.